beyond forgiveness. You stand before a forgiving God and give an account of that. The rejection, turn away, rejecting God, doing things your own way instead of God's way. You stand before God and you give an account of that. But God is giving you a chance to repent, that's my friend. And this could be our last chance to repent. A few months ago, three months ago, many of you celebrated Christmas. Yes, Christmas, which is supposed to be the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if I wonder, who is this Jesus? Who is supposed to be the whole and celebrate every year? The only one who is supposed to be the whole and celebrate every year. Even people don't believe me. And if I wonder, who is this Jesus? Who is supposed to be the whole and celebrate every year? Even people don't believe in him? The world doesn't celebrate Rabbi Day. The world doesn't celebrate my birthday. Well, the first time he came into this world, my friend, he came as a baby, as a helpless baby, born in the manger. But he's coming back soon. Not as a baby Jesus anymore, but as a mighty judge to judge the world. I tell you, my friend, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back very, very soon as a mighty judge. Not as a baby Jesus, but as a mighty judge to judge the world. Amen. Most of the Bible prophecies about his second coming have been fulfilled. So we are in the end times. We are in the last days. And most of the world events happening nowadays are pointing towards the second coming. Most of the major events in the world nowadays are pointing towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can't you perceive it? Can't you see that? So most of the Bible prophecies about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ have been fulfilled. So we are in the end times. We are in the last days. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming back very, very soon to judge the world. He is coming back very, very soon to suck out the mess in this world. Are you ready? He is coming back very, very soon to put things right in this world. Amen. Because things cannot continue the way they are currently. And my question to you today is, my friend, are you ready for a second coming? Amen. Are you ready for a 